this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to filter and sort data in Excel 2019. The process, by the way, is the same for other versions of Excel. We have this data and we want to sort it, let's say, either by date or we want to sort it by product or the region or the sales rep. So to do that, you go to the field that you want to start sorting by, go here under sort and then choose the option that you would prefer. It's by date here, or I can go here under uh, sort by product alphabetically, A through Z. Notice that you can also right click on this and choose sort. Let's say I wanted to sort by the region, right click on it and choose sort. And then you can sort by clicking on the specific field that you want to sort by and then either right click or go up here in the top right hand side. So let's say we had this initially sorted by product, A through Z, and then we want to do multiple level sorting. So right click, choose sort, and then choose custom sort. Now here we have product first, so we could change that to region or whatever you want. And then the cell values, we want to do them A through Z or whatever that you want. That's one level, so we are starting with the product. Now let's say we want to add another level, we want the regions to be sorted next. So we go here, then sort it by the region, and then sort it in ascending order. A through Z, click OK. Now notice that we have all the eastern region the products, and then we have the Midwest region. Then it moves to the next product, quad. We have the eastern, then we have west and such. If you go here under sort, custom sort, you can add the third column, for example, the sales rep. Add a level choose sales rep next and then you let's say you want a through z click ok so you have the product for that specific product then it's by region and then the next one is by sales rep alphabetically mm -hmm. and you can do uh, sales and any type of customization that you want for the sorting next let's learn about filtering data Filtering is going to display only what we have chosen to see. To do that, we can go here under the Home tab and then choose Sort and Filter, and then click on the Filtering option. And now notice we have these drop-downs next to each label or the top of the column where our data is. We could have enabled this as well by right-clicking and choosing Filter. Let's say we want to filter for a specific product unselect all of them and we want to see only the sunshine product click ok it's going to display only that particular product you can also do multiple level filtering by going under the region and then choosing a specific region and let's say we want to choose only the east and midwest click ok and notice only those records are going to be displayed Obviously, you can add additional criteria by a specific amount and such. And you could use, under the number filters, you could say, give me only those items above the average, or give me only those below average, or you can create your own custom filter. So let's say those above the average, and notice it's going to list all of those criteria for us. So. It, we started here with a whole bunch of data and we are narrowing it down to what we prefer. Now, if we wanted to clear the filter, you can simply go to the particular item where you have the filter applied. Notice there's a little icon in here with a drop down, And then you choose to clear the filter from product. That means that all the products in this case are going to be displayed. However, the other filters are still in place and applied. Notice we don't have all the data back yet. You can go ahead and uh, clear the filter for all the other ones as well. One of the nice things is also if you right click or if you choose a drop down, whichever you want, under the number filters option, you can create a custom filter. So you can go in here and you, we are looking here at sales. You choose a drop down and notice we are choosing the option for equals, but you can uh, say does not equal or is greater than or equal to or is less than so let's say we say greater than let's say show us all the sales that are greater than a thousand dollars and then you can have another criteria if you prefer and then 
click OK. So that means for the sales field, we're able to apply a specific criteria. Now, of course, you can go into any of those. Let's say uh, for the sales rep, you can create another text filter that uh, so the name begins with G, the name of the salesman. Click OK. Notice it's listing only those sales personnel G. So it's uh, fairly easy for both the data filtering and also the data sorting. Thank you.